I'm at the Polk Museum of Art sitting with Radcliffe Bailey. We are in his exhibition, Radcliffe Bailey Between Two Worlds, which is on exhibit through March 1st of this year. And Radcliffe will talk to us a little bit about some of his works in the exhibition in particular. But to begin, I just wanted to ask Radcliffe to speak a little bit about his art, uh, what, what goes into it, and uh, what he thinks about it. When I think about it, let me mm -hmm. think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, what have, I done? what have I thought about lately with my work? Um, I th I've been thinking about creating like, hmm, I don't know, I think about a new world. Um, um, trying to make sense of the chaos. Um, you know, making work that I can leave, that some ways I can communicate with my children. Um, work that speaks to people, not around or above. Um, speaks down to, it doesn't speak down to, you know what I mean? It's, I'm, I'm trying to make work that has a sense of calm. Um, talk about the past and talk about the future, um, not, from a word, not from a position of pain. Um, I'm really interested in dealing with the pain and the pleasures um, within my work. But it's, there's something that I'm trying to get to with my work. Um, you know, it's a good question because when I'm in the studio, um, I'm trying to figure out why am I doing what I'm doing? What am I going to make? Um, and I think a lot of it's just about living um, when I make work. It's about everyday life. Um, you know, art, the definitions of art, you know, I feel like I make things. And I think if I don't make these things, I won't exist. But the definitions of what we call art and the way we look at it, I get a little bit lost with. Um, the way things are and what is considered, you know, the definitions. I really think that I want to, I'm more interested in making things like as if I was a practitioner and trying to solve the ills in the world. Um, but those are some things I think about when I work. When you were talking about the, the, the way that the definitions that are, did you mean just how uh, different artists can be classified or or thought about, or was it were these? No, it's the same thing. Like when you look at music, and you you go into a store, and it's uh, it's this kind of music. It's that. It's that. It's that. Everything is kind of put in such a way that uh, you're taught almost to make that kind or this kind when it's not about making a joyful noise. So it's like I'm more interested in trying to figure out how to make a joyful noise, <laughs> you know? And I'd, I'd like to talk about art, or these things that I make, like music. They're like music for me. They're, they're, that's what, when I look at them, I think about certain music. I think about a certain sound. I think about a riff of uh, John Coltrane or someone, you know, an Abedal or, or Thelonious. You know, I'm thinking about those sounds. Um, so, yeah. And you're, you're thinking about people who had their, who were able to take their own vision or sounds for things and, and make those things available to other people. So that's, that's what you're working towards in your art. Yeah. Yeah. 